Hello, and welcome back to my playthrough of Dragon Quest V. And in this episode, Phantom and his merry monsters will be climbing a very random tower within the middle of the world map, which will get me, I believe, the magma staff, which will allow me to go for a dungeon that will get me to the Zenithian castle. So without further ado, it is time to get into it so let's go you can also get uh, liquid metal slimes around there as well but anyway this dungeon I'm not looking forward to nonetheless <laughs> so obviously you know of these jelly men they can transform into any party member anyway, I don't think I want to be going this way uh, but you know but I don't remember if there's like anything around that I could find. I'm not sure. I don't know, there is something at least. Oh dear. That's not good. I forgot you got bloody uh, King Cure Slimes in here. Of course, they're under a different name, but same thing. Hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> yeah, they hit like a truck as well, but you know, have to deal with that. Mm -mm. I think when they're called in, they shouldn't get a move on their first turn in. That's the only thing I don't agree with. If they're called in and they're still alive afterwards, fair enough. Let them attack me, but not before. That's not fair. And a good experience, though. 2k. I feel like I should take out the gargoyles first. Mm, mm, mm. It's a lot of damage, I will admit. Dun 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 mm 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 what? Attack the right one, you moron! This is the most, this is one of the most sloppiest battles I've ever seen. This is terrible. Jesus, that was bad. I've never had trouble with those before. There we go, found Yggdrasil Leaf. Lovely. Well, let's get out of here. Go up here. There's nothing up here, but, you know, oh. Jesus. Oh, Shadow Satan, they can kill me. With a certain dastardly spell. Mm 
Lovely. I heard that a fantastic treasure lies somewhere within this tower. Does it now? Is it called the Magma Staff by any, by any, any, any chance? Why, why have I got behemoths all of a sudden? Seems a bit out of place. <laughs> I don't understand why I got a battle there when I didn't before, but never mind. Right. Time to sav. Kings shoot claw slime in a shadow. Satan. Don't remember what they're actually called. They've got a weird name. These devil enemies. <laughs> Lovely jubbly. That's what you want to see. I need to make it to the staircase over here. And we've got two behemoths. Fantastic. I'm actually glad this one uh, was on guard because of course they would finish off B naturally but allow me to get rid of this one without him attacking either turns so that was a good RNG for once oh no don't, don't get blown away by that me getting good RNG. <laughs> Gotta be joking. And I think you want to go up the stairs. I don't remember. Yep. And then this might have to be a nice short episode. I mean, I can do it like that, which would be different, but see how it goes. I don't think it's going to be long enough just going in here, so I might have to do the dungeon to Zenithia. Mm. What do I get rid of? Goodbye, mate. Columns, hello there. These were the beasts I was waiting for. Ow. Ow. Bam. And bam. Nice. Nicely done. Phantom up to level 27. Nearly there. Oh. 
That was a waste of time. Bam. Oh, lovely. It's exactly what I wanted to see. Well, this is a load of ball, isn't it? Get it? It's a load of ball. I thought it was funny. Take on A, please, because he took a deep breath. Ay, 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 me gusta. No, 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 no. I mean, still got the soldier balls, but that's not the point. Brongo go first, or Pierre, whatever. Whoever goes first, just deal with them. <laughs> Here we go. Lovely jubbly. Lovely. Nearly there. Gotta keep on going. Gotta keep on going. It's mini, it's weaker jammies. Get rid of them. And down you go. Come on. Oh, for God's sake. There's even more. Even more up. So, I mean, that is where the magma staff is, but... If I can go this way. There's nothing down here, though. I've seen that there's nothing down here. I think that's so unfair. It goes on guard and then and then calls an enemy, calls another gargoyle. How's that fair then? Idiots. See that nothing here. Way. Nothing here. Speed this up because this is just all bonus malarkey. Yeah, none of the none of the other characters are here, so Spike and Isabella are missing out on experience, but that's fine. This is a gr I'm going to grind up uh, uh, in the world map to get everybody's levels up. Latir. Just before a fight with a certain bitch that I'd love to defeat. You know, you you could not possibly guess who that is. You know, I mean, who do I hate that much in this game? Hmm. Anyway, you used to be able to get to Zenithia from here, but you can't anymore. So there truly exists a person who can brave the climb up this tower. Once the Zenithian castle was accessible from the top of this tower, but now, look, the Zenithian castle has fallen into the bottom of this lake. But if you still wish to go to that palace, take this magma staff with you. If you use this, you'll be able to clear out the rocks blocking the cavern. Yes. That'll do. Time to sell that Gonna roll out the magic carpet now, you know what I mean? 
<laughs> now I can, uh, you know, check the demon jar. Oh dear, it's flashing red. If I look at the jar, the jar is emitting a flame red rays of light. That's not good. That means Bjorn the Behemoth is about to come out. But anyway, um, see, returning to El Heaven would not work. Northern Church. I could get there quickly from here, I think. Lovely. I will have a nice day, don't you worry about me. Time to take the magma stuff, huh? Well, actually, first. Would also be a good idea. To roll that magic carpet, you know what I mean? And get to the uh, Metal King. You know what I mean? So of course, because I've sped it up, the theme's gonna sound all disturbed. But I'll deal with it. Um, I mean, I may as well. And yeah, this in here. When I get the final key, the ultimate key, as it's known, or the final key, depending on the game and the version of the game, will get me into there. But anyway, item Pierre. Actually, what am I doing? No, go on equip. Not only is it better, but of course, it also has two attacks. What more do you want? Tactics, Order, Phantom, Verongo, Pierre. I'm going to overwrite State and I'm going to, of course, roll out the magic carpet. Not accidentally press A and put it back in as soon as I roll it out, of course. Right, eighteen and a half minutes. That's fine. <laughs> Flick round. Of course, I need to get to the uh, to that continent. It is only up here. Just need to find the best place to get in. So I think from here. Right, here it is. So there is the Zenithian castle. Oh, God damn it. Item... You've got it. You've got it, Pierre. Magma staff. It's also used in 4 to douse the lava of a volcano so you can pass. But anyway... I'm going to make a save state here. Because trust me. I'm going to need to. This dungeon can be rather annoying. I think I'm a level lower than I was before. I think I was 28, 26, 26 before. But anyway. With the falcon sword in hand. I should be fine.
Pierre, it would be a waste if you attacked that one. Seventy damage. He does just more than Barongo now. That's actually amazing. Ow! Off the bat, really? I mean, when you get to Zenithia, you can use the caravan as well. I mean, it, it's a... It's a zoom location. So, you know. <sighs> Damn it. I don't remember where I want to go. Actually, no. I know where I need to go. Go around here. Up here. Bonk. Press the switch. Get flung. Go back again. Really? 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 There we go. <sighs> Damn it. Already oh, having to use two heal laws is not good. At least they've gone up to 26 now. So I've got enough for 9 heal alls. And then 1 heal more. So I'm going to go like that. And I'll wrap, wrap, wrap back round. I didn't hit the switch, did I? Idiot. Oh, I've got a great Mamu. There you go. Yep. Yep. See, Brongo is a bit weak, but that's fine. And now we go. Oh, for God's sake. Aww. These were wasted battles, man. Healus. Wow. Healus is the one that heals everybody. Just so you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I made a right cock up at that. Right, that's much better. That'll do. I don't think you want to press the switch for this one. The enemy didn't notice me. Nice. You can get the jump on the zombie uh, knights. Slash centurions, because that's what they are. And everybody attacks the Satan helms. Because they can curse. You don't want that. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. No, don't poison him, you cretin. Hang on, if, if Phantom has 110, he needs 105 for all the healers, so I can afford to use an antidote, because that'll put him to 108. So he doesn't lose an extra healer that could end up becoming very vital. Anyway, I don't know if I want to go this way or not. I do if I want a chest. Depends what's in here. At the end of the day. Wow. 950 gold. Jump up with excitement. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 
Well, I mean, obviously, speaking of gold, I do need a bit more of it in order to um, get some better equipment for everybody. Uh, but other than that, I don't think it is needed. Boink. Save it here. Because as soon as I get out of this car, are you ready? Battle, bam. Maybe not. Oh, yep, there. Oh, no. Please don't curse. Please don't curse. Ugh. Brongo is calm. Brongo is calm again. Just try and get rid of him. Oh, wonderful. I mean, if he gets a critical hit, he can still attack again. No! He ended up being bloody cursed. So if I go down, down, then across. I don't think I want to press it, do I? I mean, if I press it, it allows me to go across, but anyway. As long as they don't flail their weapon about and, like, absolutely destroy me with some disgusting damage, I'm fine, anyway. I mean, he still crits on the, on the, on the battle, anyway, but, you know. Take out that soldier ball now. Yeah, this is what, uh, the other one looks like. I don't remember his name. I remember Jarmy, but I never remember his name. But that is the design for that one. A bull and a horse. Anyway, I've got eight heal alls I can do. Seven more plus a heal more. Oh, for God's sake. Because <laughs> he can kill, that's why I'm doing that anyway. I'm going to uh, save it just in case it's not worth getting those chests. I don't know if it is or not, to be honest. Come on. Oh, for God's sake. Great mammoths, yeah, whatever. You can mammo off. Oh, for God's sake. I just want to find out if I want to be coming here or not. Do you know what? Nope. I'm going to run. Of course he couldn't. Mini middle, whatever. I mean, fair enough. So it's good to give the buffer stuff to, uh, the main character. I do that in Shining Force games, and then he can like free shot bosses. Well, he'd probably be able to free shot a boss anyway. But like, what I've been because I've been going through the Shining Force is again all the stuff like the running pimento that increases movement speed or anything that just increases stats. It just all goes to Phantom. Well, in two, I also gave it to Peter the Phoenix because Peter is just he's a fantastic character. Oh, for God's sake. Ah, oh, nope, I'm not having that either. That's just... What, so it's either get cursed or get flame breathed? I mean, what do I choose? I choose a battle with two great mammoths and a... And a sitting ball. What? Who said that? You do that, mate. Bum 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 bum
and Jarmy obviously killed Jarmy. I don't think he's that bad. Well, then again, Jarmy didn't seem to be that bad either. Um, but Jima himself, oh, that's a different story, ladies and gentlemen. That is a different story. Fling. It's going to go down, isn't it? It's going to be a Jay Sean. Yep, of course it is. Oh, Stentorians, I'm fine with. There's just certain enemies in this dungeon that are just bloody annoying. Go on, Pierre, finish it off. Lovely job, Lee. Mm. <laughs> uh, leave my man Barongo alone. We go way back. I mean, if he's going to crit, you should have attacked the other one, mate. I told you we go way back. Leave him alone. Five more heals with Pierre. This is just the first section. Damn it. Forgot about this one as well. Yes, I will toggle it. Look at that. Two switches for the same track. They very rarely do stuff like that. You see that spark? That was a good effect. Especially for a game of this time. Anyway, section two. Wait, did I hear you say, does it get any better? Oh, no, 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 no. It does not get better. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, lovely. Look who it is. I forgot what they're called in bloody uh, Dragon Quest Nine now. At least the red, the red ones. Salamarauder, there we go. No, Salamarauder was the yellow ones, right? I mean, they do call for help like the ones that in 9. Um, so, you know, there's, there's nothing changed about them. Oh, no, everybody's in double-digit health, that's not good. And with this amount of experience, you thought someone would have leveled up by now, but none. I have reached a point switch. Do I want to do it? Yes, I do. What is it you're going to do? I don't know. It's going to be a great mamu. Bam. Sit down. Whoop. Sit down. That's what you call greatness. That's what you call seek. Greatness. I won't heal up them two yet. I don't know, crits seem to be more of a thing. When I do it like this. Now, have you noticed, if you mess up that track, you get sent all the way back. You see, this, this dungeon messes with you. Because you don't know where you want to go. Dragon Warrior, it's what the first Dragon Quest was originally called. No one came, slash fiercely, yeah. You do it. You do it, huh? You do it. Disgusting. Disgusting. Naughty, naughty. <sighs> oh, lovely. Some Islars. <laughs> really? Really? That's how you're going to play this, are you? Hmm, <sighs> dear me. What am I doing? I'm messing this dungeon completely up.
You also want to flip it, go back across, and then back down again. Oh, bugger off. No one's going to help you, you cretin. Sit down. Of course you do. Why wouldn't you? Why would I not save it? I'm being so silly here. Let's just use heal all, shouldn't I? Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I pressed up. Lovely jubbly. See, of course, they don't go first this time because they know they can't kill me. But no, when they can kill me, they go first and just break the whole rules of the whole speed stat. I will toggle it, yes. Nothing is down there. Good info. Well, oh dear. Looks like I should turn back first then. Actually, no. Why not? I should do them. Go in here. Go back. Go across. Get rid of these bloody helmets. Slash, well, just helms in it, really, but. Good, stay calm. Don't want your MP to be cursed. It would be halved then, and we don't want that. So I'm going to have to save it. I'm going to have to take an L and bounce back. For God's sake. Saru's Lord, whatever. I knew I should have gone down here, but never mind. Sometimes encounter rate is pretty stupid, though. I will admit. So now I just require a few hops over and stuff. <laughs> Ow! Do you only need for that amount of disgusting damage? No, there's not. Disgusting. Unacceptable. Disgusting behaviour. Does it look like I want to talk? No, stop it. I know I've done that. Wrap round. Great mammoths, lovely. Bang. Fifty two damage. I didn't actually look at the bottom then, I just looked at his health as I was be I was having a nosy at his health. I was like oh. fifty two chunk off him. Pierre up to twenty seven. Bloody hell. He's gone up two levels this dungeon, but of course, you know. He he starts to catch up to Phantom now. Um because he thinks he's a big man. 
Oh my god, I forgot to do this, really? So I do near enough everything, but then forget one little detail. Dead. Smack, smack, smack. Down you go. Mm. See, look, he's, he, he was temporarily on the same level as Phantom. I don't know how it's done then. Is it done like this? I'm pretty sure it should be done like this. You go across, bam, yeah, up. Then across like that. And then across and then in. And across like that. Third and final area. Lovely jubbly. Now we're talking. And this character is important. Uh, I have to find a way to... Uh, yeah, you have to break it this way. Now he's gone over there. Poor man, I believe if you get, if game name begins with P or something. I don't know who you are, but thank you. You see, I kind of just got on this thing, and the next thing I knew, 20 years had passed. <laughs> Silly me. How rude of me, my name is Pusan. I know I don't look the part now, but I once lived in Zenithia. From what I can tell, you seem to be heading to the Zenithian castle yourselves. Perfect, I'll go with you. Besides, don't they say the Mordom area? <laughs> Come on. The Zenithian folk, Pasan, joined the party. Well then, shall we? Badam and Yow. Wait, I don't do that. I want to go, oh, really? See, it makes no sense. I go across, get a battle within one step, go across, get a battle in three steps. But if I do it like bam, 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 there's no battle. It makes no sense to me. Dragon Warrior. Bring it on. I'm hungered for, for blood. Very hungered. Right, here we go. Come on. In we go. Beep. Here we go. Lovely. Here we go. I made it. So if you've seen uh, Dragon Quest 4, played Dragon Quest 4, but haven't actually seen 5, you'll recognise the look of this place, because it is the exact same Zenithian castle as in 4. Um, is that your name? Let me look at this now, look, I've got Spike and Isabella with me, but no, I shouldn't do, but, you know, whatever. As if by magic. It's because they expect me to use them, but... Anyway. Gee, how terrible. The palace must have filled up with water when it crashed into the lake. 
but I wonder what caused the castle to fall from the heavens. Now, I want you to cast your mind bank back to when Phantom and Bianca uh, got rid of the ghosts in Lenore Castle. Do you remember what happened when the king and queen thanked them for saving them? Do you remember what item he got? It was something that Jima crushed. Hmm, I guess there's no one around to ask either. Oh, I almost forgot there's a hidden staircase behind the throne. And as I was saying, um... It's something that Jima crushed me. He's like, ah, look, it's... And then he said its fate lays unchanged. Well, that's because the fate of this castle was already done by the time that was taken off the castle. So if we come over to here, you see the candlestick. The silver orb emits a sad grey light. And if we go over to the gold orb... <gasps> oh, wait! Kind of got that, didn't I? Jump in, Jehoshaphat. The golden orb, it was supposed to be right here. But now it's gone. What? This hole. This. The hole that was said to be opened when an ancient soul of evil awoke long ago. So... The golden orb must have fallen through that hole and disappeared. And the remaining orb could not keep the castle afloat. So, all the way back then, you remember when you saw that shooting star? But then the king and queen were like, oh, here's your reward. And Phantom got that golden orb. Well, that whole ghost thing, I guess you could say they were imagining it. I don't know if that's clear or not, but I think it, that was just an imagination. Because only the kids in, the, in Santa Rosa talked about that. But yeah. Um, that shooting star was the golden orb falling through the sky. So yes, like after all of that, all the stuff from Act One is finally coming together. Like the the fairy stuff you'll see again soon. But yeah, it's all coming together now. Anyway, now I know why the Zenithian castle fell from the skies. Where could the golden orb have disappeared to? Luckily, a faint trace of the orb's aura still remains on the altar. I will use the aura to meditate on the location of the orb. And now you're going to see what I just said. But you've already obviously seen it, but it pieces it together. So there it is in the, in the clouds. Down the orb falls. Out of the heavens. And all the way into Lenore Castle 20 years ago. Isn't it funny how passan has been uh, spinning round on that for 20 years? It all pieces together, doesn't it? And then that happened. We had the thunderstorm, Phantom Bianca, slash, slash, slash. All the, all the monsters were there, of course, but you know. Whether the king and queen were actually there is another story. So here we go, back to this point. That's why I said to remember this. Isn't it beautiful? Now these two can rest in peace forever. But I wonder why the ghosts were tearing this castle apart in the first place. Hmm, what's this? What a beautiful gem. It must be a thank you. It's so bright. Let's take it with us. But as we know, Jima crushed it. Why, little boy? What a pretty gem. Mind if I take a look at it? But who does that merchant look like? Hmm. Yes. I'm the Prince of Reinhardt. I'm the next bestest after the king. Do you want me to be my personal goon? See, so it's going through all the events of Act 1. Until finally, Jima does this. I have to see this bloody thing again. Master Jima, what about the panther cub? Throw it out somewhere. After a while in the wild, it will regain its killer instincts. Well, you was wrong about work, weren't you, bitch? Yeah, two fingers up to you, mate. Hmm, wait, this child is such an odd-looking gem. Gemma took the golden orb away from phantoms. This is what he meant. Could this be? No matter. Its fate remains unchanged. So he's referring to the falling of the castle, but of course, he knew that it didn't matter that phantom had the golden orb. He didn't have to crush it. Because, in his mind, because of his ego... Phantom was never getting out of that palace and was never reaching Zenithia, so, you know. 
and then he crushed it. Well, shall we take our leave then? So, how can Zenithia fly again? We had a golden orb. Oh, how horrible. The golden orb has already been destroyed. That means the palace will never float again. No, wait. According to legend, the ancestors of the fairies were said to have created the two orbs. So again, we haven't seen the fairies since Act 1. Like, be just before this bit, I think, well, I think just as Act 3 started, I was like, surely they would come back into the game again, but now they are. Perhaps if you ask the Fairy Queen, she can once again create these orbs. Somewhere in the world, there is said to be a forest that can take you to the Fairy Village. I shall wait here. I'm counting on you, Phantom. So I can't drop down there because I will land... Well, I'll land in water, wouldn't I, and drown. So yes. I was actually happy at this point because I was like, yes. They haven't left all of the Act 1 stuff out. They haven't just randomly chucked it aside... Just because he was a kid, but no, they're making they're making sense out of it all now, and I'm glad. But anyway, I don't have to go back through that dungeon to get to, to Zenithia now. So there we go, and just to show you. I can return to Zenithia. Oh yeah, I get all the other spots now. So I get Reinhardt, Oracle, Berry, Point, Selmy, Rorafin, Salabon, and Edzin, Granvania, Northern Church. And I got Santa Rosa automatically. Which is lovely. And of course I've got Zenithia. Anyway, um... Yeah, that marks the end of this episode. So... Thank you for watching this episode of my playthrough of Dragon Quest 5. And in the next episode, I will be making my way to the Fairy Village, which is close to Salabona. Where I will be going through the forest with Phantom, Spike and Isabella. Uh, because I need Spike and Isabella to go across because only they can see fairies. Because only children can see them. That's why Phantom saw them in Act 1. And then when I make it there, I'll be doing a few different events in order to try and get back a new golden orb. But until then, with a massive thumbs up, what I'm going to say to you now is goodbye and good night.